Hi YouTube, Fifi Fan here, uh, bringing you uh, tips and tricks for my Felty Rosa deck profile. I'm getting started here. I'm going over the ride line, grade one. I am riding the great. Uh, I am playing the great one from the Kyrie ride line versus the great one from Felty, just because the Felty uh, ride line costs a soul. Um, and I already have a card here that you know it's pretty uh, hefty, uh, hefty cost for soul. Um, this is dedicated serenade, uh, serenade Eleanor. I'm going to shoot an attack. So that's two, and this gets plus 15k. And then at the end of the battle, it goes on top of the deck. So if this is just uh, this is just too expensive to be able to use this skill. I was using this skill for a little while, and it's nice to be able to re uh, recycle a card back to your hand. But it's, it's just not worth it when it comes to your pushing. Um, uh, this lets you generate um, advantage too. It's just to the field. Um, uh, Estes Nanami, when this is uh, placed on Vanguard, you choose one grade one or less from your drop and then call it to RS Rest. Now, for her skill, you always want to call it under the Vanguard. But if you don't have any grade ones in your hand, you call it on one of the rear guard circles to your left or right. And the reasoning is we have, uh, we have a card here that has to be boosted to use this effect. So if you have an extra grade one, you can put it under the vanguard. If you don't have an extra great one, you want to put it on one of the left or right uh, back rows, just so you can uh, use your skills uh, with your uh, great three. So this is a selfie practice analyst. At the end of the battle, of this unit attack while boosted. Put this into your soul and choose one of your rear guards, and it gets plus 5k into the end of the turn. So this has to be boosted. And you already don't play a lot of great ones anyway in this deck, so you know. A lot of times you're not going to get to put it behind the vanguard, but if you can, please do. If not, put it on the rear guard. <clears throat> Next up, I wanted to talk about the uh, grade two ride, uh, ride line for Felty. And I'm still playing this one. Um, when she's rolled upon, you reveal a ghost storming unit from your hand and put it on the top of your deck. And then choose a ghost from your drop and then put it to your hand. So for her skill, um, I always you always want to discard something that you're going to use. So if you have a a ghost that you're going to use to push, even if it's like a booster or something like that, you'll discard that, put whatever you're going to put on top of your deck, and then bring it back to use as a booster. So you know it, it pays for itself basically. Um, now for the skill, as far as putting things on top of the deck, you only really have uh, you only realistically have two choices here. You have Ingrid and you have Hellwig. Uh, between these two, you always kind of want to go, not kind of, you always want to go for Ingrid over Hellwig if you can. Um, this is Capriccio of Circulating Star Ingrid. Uh, when this is placed on our other than your hand, she counter charges one and then I choose a rear guard in the same color and she stands it. So she counter charges one, she stands a unit that's been used before. Um, she also, uh, when she attacks, she gets plus 500, and she goes to the bottom at the end of the uh, uh, at the end of the battle. So that opens up a rear guard for you. So she counter charges, she stands at rear guard, and she opens up a rear guard. <clears throat> she stands a booster, and she opens up a rear guard. Best one. If you don't have her for any uh, for any reason, this is the next best thing. This is hair braiding aspiration hellwig. Uh, when this use it, when this unit is placed on R during battle phase, you'll put this into your soul and draw one card. So this deck has two problems: one being hand, because you're always spitting stuff out on your board. You don't really have hand, so this lets you draw. And then the other being soul. This also gives you soul. Um, there's other cards you can play, but because you need soul so much, this is really the only option that you have. Um, not only does she give you a soul and draw, she also opens up a rear guard for your Vanguard skill here. Between these two, I always want to pick Ingrid, but if you can't pick Ingrid, obviously, obviously, obviously this is the next best choice. Uh, next is uh, your Mulligan. So I have in quotations, always Try to keep a great one if you can. You already don't play very many. So always try to keep one. If you can keep a great one, always try to keep one. Between these two, if you can keep a great one, this will probably be the uh, the most important. This is uh, Join Grasp Ernesta. In the back row, when your other 
ghost is placed on R during your battle phase, stay in this unit. So this she stands herself for free. And the only other option really is uh, Little Lady Helmina. When this unit is placed on R, choose uh, choose another ghost. Uh, when it's placed on uh, if when this is placed on R, if you have another ghost on R, choose one of the rear guards and get plus 5k. You can also give uh, 5k to herself as well. Now for her skill, I normally give her skill to a booster, something that can restand if you can. Um, herself or this one is fine. All right, uh, I'm gonna go over the best hands, like best possible hands that you can have. We'll go with your persona, Ingrid, Eleanor, Annalise, and Ernesto. And this is from most to least important. Um, obviously, you need your persona ride. This for your, uh, your counter charge. This for uh, um, opening your rear guard. Both of these open rear guards for you. This is just a restanding booster. And then this gives you soul, opens a rear guard, and gives something power. But if you see any of these in your opening hand, any of these three, always keep these. These are very important. These three here, always keep these. You know, once you have these, you can mulligan for these two. And with priority to this. <clears throat> Next order of business. Going back to this grade two here, uh, hair braiding, aspiration, hell wig. Now, she only really works during the battle phase. If you draw her, it's basically dead. You know, I mean, I guess you can still use her as like shield or whatever. But if you do have her early, you do end up drawing to this and you already have your Ingrid, you could always use her to push. Um, whenever I got her in my hand, you know, I could use her for discard fodder because she's a ghost, she can always get it back. And you can also use her to push. Whenever I have multiple of her, two, three of them, because you know you, you can't really use her effect anymore, it's better to just push with her if you can. Okay, going over this grade three. And this is uh, Selfish Practice Annalise again. Um, at the end of the battle, this unit attacks while boosted, put this into your soul, choose one of your rear guards, and give you a plus 5k. Now, she's one of the reasons why I was saying you need, uh, it's probably your best bet to keep a grade one. You already don't play very many, but if you can keep one, and like especially if you have her, it'll be A-OK. -okay. Not only does she give you soul, she opens up a rear guard for your Floaty Rosa skill, and she also gives another unit plus five. Now, like the, like the grade one here, I always end up giving a plus five that they give to a booster. More than likely a booster will be able to stand if you're using Ingrid or the one that stands by itself. Next order of business, we have a uh, Vibrant Symphony. Like I said, I don't see very many people play orders in this deck other than the Wallista ride, uh, ride line stuff, um, which like, like I said, I don't really enjoy very much just because everybody else is using that. I just kind of want to be original and do my own thing. Um, but it's actually a really good card. Um, it says, if an attack hit your Vanguard this turn, choose one of your units to be an attack and it gets 30k into the end of that battle. Mm -hmm. I will say with this card that you have to be very uh, conscious about your damage. Um, past five damage, there's nothing is useless. You can't really do anything unless you're like uh, banking on like a heal trigger or over trigger to save you. But um, 
when it when it saves it does save uh, it's probably better to use it early on than later you know keep the triggers into your hand but when it does like i said when it does save you it save you i think i was um playing bastion i was at four damage and he still had like two attacks left he swung for the fifth damage at like 65 i had got two defensive triggers that turn and my vanguard was sitting at 33 Nobody ever sees this coming. <laughs> Nobody sees this coming. Nobody thinks that anybody's gonna play this. So this is always like this is always really funny when it goes off. So this made it 33, and I just um I intercepted with Hellwick to pass. He couldn't believe it, and I was just really happy. <laughs> and so I just took the uh, fifth damage from the other rear guard and was able to uh, live. And there was another time where I was banking on a heal trigger, which I got. And then they had one more attack, and then they saved me. Um, discard for your ride line. One for grade one and grade two. If you have a grade one to discard, discard it. Cause you can always get it back if not discard a trigger and then for grade two discard another trigger if you're discarding for costs always discard triggers after grade one if uh always discard triggers after grade one if you don't have a, a great one to discard and, and to get back because you, you need the pieces you're always like you're throwing up your whole hand on the board you can't you can't afford to guard with uh pieces that you need so uh so the right line will go discard a grade one if you have grade one to bring it back if not discard a trigger and then for grade two to write up to grade two always discard a trigger she doesn't really do anything on grade two it's not until she rolled on so grade one discard a grade one to get back uh grade two discard a trigger and then uh grade three discard something that you can get back if you don't have a grade one obviously you just discard a trigger and you can bring that back as well um, this is I guess all I have. If you guys have any questions or you know uh, anything that you want to add, please leave that in the comment section. I'll read it later. Uh, thanks for watching.